the only real thing I can tell you about PTP is what I've learned in talking with hematologists after being hospitalized. Um, the, the first episode, I had no clue what was going on. Um, and the only common thread between all six episodes was extreme fatigue. The uh, first episode, I did have purpura, but I've only, that was only in the first episode. The, the first episode I, you know, I had, you know, I was, I was an over the road truck driver and I had my truck in the shop getting some repairs, was in a motel room. And that's when I noticed the purple. And I thought that I had picked up some kind of bizarre bed bug. Um, but it turns out that the motel actually was a very nice motel. It was not that at all. Um, and it was probably a few days later, because I was in North Little Rock, Arkansas, I had a, you know, kind of a triangular route to, for various stops that ended up in Chicago. And when I was in Chicago, I actually was out in Hampshire, Illinois, west of Chicago. And I was so fatigued that I never felt like I was about to pass out, but I just felt like God with the next step, I might collapse. So then I went and got a motel room again and thinking if I just get a good night's sleep that I'll wake up feeling better, which that didn't happen. It was roughly midnight that night when I was at the ER in Elgin, Illinois. And even the ER doc, the, uh, the internal med doc at the hospital, they told me, says, we don't know what the problem is. We've been on the phone and we've got a team of specialists that are coming in early today specifically for your case and it was probably at about 5 a.m. that morning when I began to learn about TTP. The uh, diagnosis is a clinical diagnosis. Um, they of course they draw a CBC. They see that my platelets at that time my platelets were less than 10 which I believe that means less than 10,000 cells per deciliter of blood, which is quite low and definitely in the danger zone. Uh, LDH, lac lactose or lactase dehydrogenase, which is a result of uh, tissue breakdown or cellular breakdown. Everybody always has a certain amount of LDH, but mine was quite elevated. Um, so the doctors know that if it's above a certain threshold, that means that there's some, something's being damaged. Um, the real kicker is short of an Adam TS 13 test is also the presence of schistocytes, which is the remnants of burst, um, lysed red blood cells. Um, it takes, I think, seven days to get the results back from an Adam TS 13 test. So simply by looking at a blood smear, the hematologist can recognize if there's a presence of schistocytes. He already sees I have very low platelets, very high LDH, and a presence of schistocytes would be the three things that really clue them in to uh, TTP. Um, so I think there's another condition related to TTP known as HUS. So then I think there's uh, other tests they could do to determine if it's TTP or HUS, but it's something that, that's a clinical diagnosis. You can't wait for the Adam TS-13 test to come back. You'll most likely will have died by the time the results come back from that. So it's, you know, I was just real fortunate that uh, I was at a place, I took a taxi cab to the hospital, and it turned out to be a really good hospital. And so I was just, just by sheer luck, ended up at a, a good facility on my first episode. So the whole diagnostic process is, you know, contingent upon, of course, being at a facility that has specialists that are familiar with TTP.